Hi, I'm Marshall. I'm the owner of Going Gear, and I'm here in our store in Smyrna, Georgia. This is the quick and dirty review of the Nightcore EAX flashlight. All right, here is the Nightcore EAX hammer. 2,000 lumens on max output all the way down to one lumen on the lowest output. Hour and a half of runtime on the high, 800 hours on the low. 490 meters of beam distance. So there are a lot of lights out there that do that. Not a lot to do it on AA batteries. So this thing's powered by eight AA batteries. So 2000 lumens and 490 meters of beam distance. Pretty nice for running off of AA batteries. Other stuff that you get other than just the light, you have a holster, pretty nice holster, some spare parts. You have a lanyard, spare O-ring, and uh, the light itself, of course. So let's take a look at it. Two LEDs down in there, two Cree XML2 LEDs, nice glass lens, big burly light, lots of surface area and heat sinking just to keep the heat dissipated every, really well and uh, nice anodized finish to make it really scratch resistant. Switch on the side, so this controls the interface, I already have the eight AA batteries in there. I recommend nickel metal hydride rechargeables over alkalines because they are far, far less likely to leak on you and that's no fun on a light you're spending this much money on. So interface completely controlled by the switch on the side it's a two-stage switch like most digital cameras or phones these days so if you do a light press it'll turn the light on keep on doing those light presses it'll cycle through your lower outputs and the lowest one is that super low one lumen get the really good battery life and then do a full press to turn it off full press from off will always get you the max output of the 2000 lumens and then if you do a half press while it's in that it'll go to the high a little bit lower output a little bit better battery life and then do the full press to turn it off. You also have momentary, so if you press and hold, either the half press or the full press, you have momentary if you hold it for more than a second or so, and there's some flashing modes as well. So if you have it turned on, double click and it'll go into strobe, and then once you're in that, do a press and hold, and you have SOS, do a press and hold, and you have beacon. There's no mode memory for the uh, flashing modes, and doing the full press will always go to turbo. There is mode memory when you do the half press modes. So just keep that in mind when you're wondering about the mode memory. You also have a lockout. So if you have it turned on, press and hold. You'll see it flash for a second and then uh, the switch will not work. To get it out of that, press and hold and it'll go back on. Okay, so that is the interface and everything of the EAX. We're gonna go and take this outside. We'll show you how it does outside. All right, we're out here with the Nightcore EAX. Let's go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna try it out on some of the lower levels first. So the lowest level, really great for up close kind of stuff. Fantastic battery life on it. And then you can start cranking it up when you need to get out to more distance or you want some better illumination. You can see all the different levels that you have on the lower outputs. And there's your max output. So a ton of lumens coming out of this thing. Dock house down there is about 100 feet away. You can see how well it is lit up. And uh, nice big wide hot spot so it lights up a wide area once and then the spill is also really bright and very usable for sure. So pretty cool that you can get this kind of output, this kind of distance and everything out of AA batteries. Pretty impressive. All right, so there you go. That's the Nightcore EAX. If you like it, you can buy it from us at goinggear.com. And if you want to see a more in-depth video, we talk about everything a little bit more in-depth, uh, check the link in the description. I'll have a link down there. That's it. Thanks for watching.